In the USA, Rhode Island, welcome to the Pokemon Pokedex. It's a podcast all about Pokemon, so let's get ready to catch them all. Hello, everyone. My name is Reese. And my name's Siddy. I'm Reese's little sister. We just want to say thanks for watching this so far to finish the evolution line in this podcast. And we hope you have enjoyed listening to this podcast and hope you have a great summer so far. We are so grateful for those of you who have been listening to our most recent episodes. And two of you have already give us five star rating in the Apple podcast. Thank you so much, whoever did those. For those of you who are on Apple Podcasts, we would love to read a review. What that means is that you type a sentence or two or let people know what you think of the podcast. These reviews help other friends who like Pokemon find our podcast easier. All right, folks, let's get out our Pokedexes. The Pokemon we are discussing today is third in the Pokedex, Venusaur. It's spelled V-E-N-U-S-A-U-R and pronounced Venusaur. It looks like an Ivysaur but bigger with a big rose in the middle. It's a grass slash poison type, which means this Pokemon's combos could turn into powerful moves. I once heard of a Venusaur using Vine Whip and using Poison Dart to smack the Poison Darts at the opponent. Its ability is Overgrow, just like the two evolutions before it. This ability makes Venusaur's Grack type moves even stronger, even when its health is low. Pretty strong for just a little Pokemon. Not little. This thing is huge. Its attacks are Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, Take Down, Razor Leaf, Sweet Scent, Growth, Double Edge, Worry Seed, Synthesis, Seed Bomb, and its signature move, Solar Beam. My, my favorite ability of this Pokemon is Vine Whip because it lowers the opponent's defense along with dealing damage. It evolves from Ivysaur but not does not evolve further, but can Mega Evolve into Venusaur with a Venusaurite. Its weaknesses are Fire-type, Ice-type, Flying-type, and Psychic-type moves, even if it is in Mega Mode. Its height is 6 six feet and 7 inches, and 220.5 pounds. Pretty big for a big Venusaur, and that's taller than my dad. And a real-life creature that is close to this size is a small alligator. Hey, Reese, what does Venusaur remind you of? Actually, I might say good question, but I already know my answer. I think of Venusaur as a dinosaur on all fours mixed with a Venus flytrap plant. For those who don't know a Venus flytrap plant, it just looks like a normal flower, but it eats flies. And it's pink and has white spots on it. How about you, City? What does it remind you of? It reminds me of a big, big, big palm tree. Okay, that was a little aggressive, but I'll take it. Some fun facts about Venusaur are that the longer it stays in the sunlight, the stronger its grass-type moves get. It might relate to the move synthesis, but it's not. I've seen it in my own with my own eyes or just searched it. Well, I think it's a pretty cool ability that it can do. Um, so, the longer it stays in the sunlight, the stronger its grass-type get moves get. Yeah. It's from the Kanto region, and sometimes be, can be found in the Kalos region, just like its pre- previous evolutions. There you have it, folks. Those are some fun facts about Venusaur. If we forgot any facts that you love, make sure to email us or call us to let us know. In future podcast episodes, we'd love to hear from you. You could submit listener feedback and hear your voice in this podcast. We've been waiting, but we haven't heard any. But we really are hoping some of you could send it. 
It's easy. Just head to MiriamBlake.com, click the upper right-hand corner where it says Contact Us, and click where it says Voicemail. Be sure to start the voicemail telling us your first name, where you're from, and what your favorite Pokemon is. We can't wait to hear from you. Okay, everyone, it's time for the joke of the day. Hey, Reese. <laughs> yep. Why did Venusaur be- bring a fan to the garden? I don't know why the Venusaur bring a fan to the garden. Because it wanted to be a cool plant. Get it? Cool plant? <laughs> <laughs> that joke is perfect, especially since Venus or loves sunlight and needs to stay cool. Nice one, sis. Thanks so much for tuning in today's p- episode of Pokemon Pokedex. We hope you enjoyed listening to as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to s- subscribe to this podcast and send in some listener feedback. You can email our parents at maryandblake.com, gmail.com. Or maybe you can go to their website, MiriamBlakeMedia.com, or click the upper right-hand corner to contact us and leave us a voicemail. Again, my name is Reese. And again, my name's City. Now, now go, go catch, catch them all! Catch them all.